What's going on, everybody? My name is Theo, and I am African. I'm, <laughs> I am African, uh, by the way of Nigeria. Um, I know a lot, of you, a lot of you know that, and a, and a lot of you don't know that. So, what is it like growing up as growing up as an African, or growing up as a Nigerian? American or Nigerian African, let me tell you. When by we come from Nigeria, uh, your parents, there's three careers. I bet you three or four careers that your parents want you to be. Okay, as a Nigerian, mostly when you're Nigerian, it's like this requirement that you go into this field. Okay, um, one is you gotta be a doctor. You gotta be a doctor, a medical doctor, a pharmacist, or something like that. Anything in the medical field, or be a lawyer, because you know you gotta be. A, you gotta have a lawyer in the family, and an engineer, or engineering. That's one. Um, well, the other one, I can't, oh, I count them because you know you got to deal with the money. So, uh, and your parents always, they want to mold you to, to, to this field. And um, in my situation, that's where, that's where I started at first. When I started, when I was in college, my dad, my, my parents wanted, they wanted me to be, uh, some, to do something in the medical field. Okay. And I was doing fine until I got to the uh, the part about uh, in the biochemistry and all that cool stuff. You know, just dissecting animals, you know, cutting them open and uh, doing all that funky, gooey crap. And that's where my career changed. That I was like it. That was out the door. So, but I can understand why, why most parents who are African Nigerians want their kids to go to the, to study those study those uh, those field because you are guaranteed. You're, I want to guarantee you're almost most likely to have a job if when you when you're doing the medical field or if you're a lawyer. There's always some case to to be attending. If you're a medical doctor, you just, some people are always sick. And if you're in engineering, well, you can build a bridge, or build something. You you're either building houses or doing something in engineering. But in my case, um, I went with the mass communication. But one thing people don't know about mass communication is uh. You can do a lot with it. For example, what I'm doing right now, public speaking, inspiration, motivation, you can go, the sky's the limit for you. But when you're in the medical, when you're a medical doctor, you can only do things in the medical, medical things. Engineering, you can build things. Lawyer, you can go to court and all that stuff, but when you're a freelancer, mass communication like I am, you can do anything you want to do. Okay? So, that's me in a nutshell. And uh, I love it. I'm thankful to God because some, some, I, I, I think God led me to where I am today. Yeah, I ain't making the money yet. I ain't making the money yet. But the money's coming. Yeah, I know it's coming because uh, yeah, when you are a business minded like myself and I like to help people, when you're in the people business, the money comes. It might be slower. It might be slower than, than normal, like engineering, doctors, and all that stuff. Because all you, all you have to do is one big surgery and then boom, you got money. One big case, boom, you got money. Build one big old house or bridge, boom, you got money. 
Communication, you got to work. You got to learn how to grind. And believe me, your boy be grinding. I ain't complaining. But that's part of life. So, that's my intro. Letting y'all know who I am. Again, I'm Theo. Now, Bogo. African, Nigerian. And here I am doing what I love to do, helping people. Until next time, stay blessed, stay prayed up. Do you and be happy. Don't let people, don't let anyone force you to do something that you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life. All right? Stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.